How many of you have dreamt of a world with no wires? Not managed, not hidden away, just gone. Well, we've made some progress. Wireless keyboards and mice, depending on the model, are almost indistinguishable from their tethered brethren. Wi-Fi 6 is blazing fast under ideal conditions, but wireless displays that can run both at a high enough resolution and refresh rate for gaming can only be found in unicorn fantasy land. And if, hey, did you see that? I knew it. Holy crap, hold on a second. Here it is. Look at this. We finally found it. We found the entrance. Unicorn fantasy land, baby. Wait, this isn't unicorn fantasy land. How did this message from our sponsor get in here? Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet has redefined the traditional wallet with its compact frame and RFID blocking plates. Keep your wallet bulged down and use offer code Linus to save 10% and get free worldwide shipping. Intel WiDi, or wireless display technology, first launched way back in 2010 and allowed video to be transmitted from your PC to certain HDTVs. But while it was low latency, it wasn't anywhere near good enough for competitive gaming, and it got discontinued in favor of Miracast anyway. Like WiDi, Miracast piggybacks on the same hardware as your device's Wi-Fi network connection. That means it's fairly ubiquitous these days. There's tons of devices that support it. But it also means that both image quality and latency are limited to what you can do over Wi-Fi. So they suck. But the game I'm running right now, this ain't no game, folks. One moment, please. The game I'm running right now is at 4K 30 hertz with no compression. On paper, that is a whopping six gigabit per second of raw data. That is well beyond the theoretical maximum of even the latest Wi-Fi 6 routers and adapters. So how do? Peak do. <laughs> Now, I would like to begin by stating that the company that sent us these wireless HDMI kits has done an excellent job of trying to look as sketchy as humanly possible. <laughs> Their site is nearly impossible to find unless you Google the product name specifically. The logo on their Facebook page looks like it was scaled in MS Paint. Their Twitter account has actually been temporarily restricted. And the two reviews of this product on the official website were not only both posted on exactly the same date, but one of them was even written by the general manager of Peak Dude. Amazing product, it really works the same way like HDMI cable, but wireless element. There's also basically zero technical explanation for how exactly it works, with simple claims of a 60 gigahertz band running at 3.96 gigabit per second, requiring no installation or internet. Wow. Fortunately, we're Linus Tech Tips, so we don't need no stinking specifications. And the tech that they're using is called Ygig, or 60 gigahertz wireless. Now at 4K 30 hertz, they are nearing the seven gigabit per second speed limit of the first generation 802.11 AD, which actually led us to believe that it might this one right here, not this one, might be a very early product using the 802.11AY second generation YGIG standard. But given that it was scheduled for a working group approval in September 2020, and that there have been other products making similar performance claims since back in 2019, it seems unlikely. But I mean, hey, 1080p60 ain't bad. Let's actually flip over to this one for a minute to continue our demo. I guess this is a good way for us to demo the simplicity of the setup, hey? Yeah. Here we go. Is there supposed to be a light on the other one? Oh, bloody hell, I plugged it into the onboard HDMI. <laughs> 30 hertz, pretty rough. 60, I mean, console kids would have given anything for 60 FPS not that long ago. You know what, there's just no other way to put it. This is impressive, you know, like, Look, Ma, no leg. Oh, wow, I still can't aim, but that's a whole separate issue. Honestly, though, guys, I don't expect you to take my word for it. I'm hardly a Counter-Strike pro, but you don't have to, because due to a miscommunication with my writer, we actually have an excess of evidence for how well it works. We used both our high-speed camera and NVIDIA's LDAT display latency tester to validate PeakDo's claims. And if we look at both the average click-to-photon latency of the PeakDo 
and a regular old copper HDMI cable, they are shockingly similar. But the impressive thing isn't the speed at which the data is being beamed. Radio waves through air are actually faster than electronic signals through a wire, like as Logitech loves bringing up about their Lightspeed Wireless. The impressive thing is the seemingly negligible processing delay. Like clearly it's a pretty difficult thing to nail down because most wireless HDMI dongles that I've tried in the past add 10 or even 10 z of milliseconds of latency. And this one, it just doesn't. Of course, that doesn't mean that it's a perfect experience. I mean, here's something you can do with a wire. Look at that, picture perfect around a corner. Whereas with the peak dough, I mean, it's as simple as taking something like this cute little pillow from lttstore.com and, well, actually, no, seem to handle that okay. Okay, how about this water bottle from lttstore.com? You told me it was gonna break it, Ploof. What if I put it in front of the receiver? Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, now let's try it. Let's try the water bottle. This is a, it's a good quality water bottle. Let's wireless transmissions, right? How is that working? Why is my hand blocking it and the water bottle does? Oh, it needs both. The point is, it's fairly easy to stop. <laughs> now, 802.11ay is supposed to deliver massive improvements to both range and data rates, enabling transmission rates of 20 to 40 gigabit per second and ranges in excess of 300 to 500 meters. That is absolutely incredible and could allow 4K high refresh rate or 8K video transmission. But until we see some actual products, it might as well be in unicorn fantasy land. The real question though is, if YGIG has been around for over a decade and you get basically the same latency results as you would with one of these, why are we still using cables like cave people? This article from PC World called it pretty well back in 2013 when they said, it's not gonna replace your Wi-Fi anytime soon. 60 gigahertz wireless has a naturally shorter range than your typical Wi-Fi. So that mini one we showed you guys only gets to five meters of range and costs 200 US dollars. And to get the 25 meter advertised results of this one, which I'm calling the Chungus, you need high gain beam forming phased array antennas to boost the power. We don't know how much this one's gonna cost in North America because peak dough is peak random when it comes to communication, but it does 4K, so it's higher bandwidth. It has a built-in USB hub with power delivery, so you can single cable dock to your laptop with it. And it has the same negligible latency performance as the other one. So I would have said not cheap, except that the price in UN on, what was it, like AliExpress or something? Uh, yeah, Andy found it for 218 US dollars, so I don't know why the other one even exists. Anyway, let's start walking, shall we? And see how far we make it. Okay, let's go on uh, Flowplane. You guys aren't subscribed to Flowplane yet? You gotta get on Flowplane. There's definitely lots of exclusives lately, so go check it out. Here, let's play an exclusive. All right, David versus Galinus. Do we have a tape measure by any chance, or are we just winging it? Uh, okay, is this still working? I mean, this has got to be like 10 meters at this point. Uh, how far are we? Wait, yeah, 25 meters is pretty far. Holy bananas. It's, yep, it's pretty far away. Hold on a second. Still going, fine, just fine. Wow, that's freaking awesome. Like, this is really far. I see why we uh, decided to do this outside. Yes. Oh, no, it's working perfectly. It's just the video that stopped. Oh no, I dropped the Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, all right, fine, we'll just, here we go. It's still working. Um, hello, can you stop working at some point, please? This is a lot of wireless HDMI here. Is it dead yet? Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's definitely 25 meters. That's nutty, I mean, no wonder the thing has a fan in the back to keep the transmitter cool. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, active cooling on your HDMI cable. Kind of wish I could take it apart and see what makes it tick, but there wasn't any obvious way to get it apart without like damaging it. And there's another big disappointment that hopefully Peak Doe can address in the future. Despite this unit being rated for 4K 30 Hertz, which it 
works great for. What it can't do is 1080p 120 hertz, even though theoretically that has the same bandwidth requirements. We tried manually changing display settings through NVIDIA control panel, and it tries, fails, and reverts back to 60 hertz every time. If they could fix that, 1080p 120 would make this easy to recommend for gamers who want to have their TV across the room from their PC with no wires or have a projector up in the ceiling without running an HDMI cable. Lots of things, actually. And clearly, it can be done. The HTC Vive Pro VR headset runs at a whopping 2880 by 1600, 90 hertz. But for whatever reason, pretty much no one has bothered to bring high refresh rate wireless to the desktop. Though that isn't the end of the world for Picto. There are lots of other applications that you could use it for, like sending a camera signal to a monitor, or when you want crisp and precise demonstrations on a bigger screen without the hassle of staying plugged in, since the latency really does feel comparable to a cable. But there's a huge asterisk, and that's the interruptions or choppiness that we noticed either when obstructing the line of sight, or if the transmitter and receiver aren't aligned very well. Now, the big 4K unit does improve significantly on the small one, but without knowing the cost of this thing, it's hard to recommend simply going out and buying it. It's definitely cool technology though, and that is why we decided to make a video about it. It actually works really well. You know what else works? This segue to Squarespace. Squarespace is great, no joke, we actually use it. Both our linusmediagroup.com and ltxexpo.com websites were built quickly using Squarespace, and they're super easy to maintain if we need to make quick changes. If you haven't heard already, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that makes it easy to get your website up and running quickly. If you have a home business, you definitely need one. You can use it to sell things, you can choose from tons of different templates, just find the one that makes the most sense for you and run with it. And if you trip while you're running and hit your face on the ground, don't worry, Squarespace offers webinars, a full series of help guides, and you can even contact their 24-7 support team to help you build your site. Just go to squarespace.com forward slash LTT and get 10% off today. I mean, who knows, guys? Maybe you've got a perfect use case for something like this. I mean, it would be pretty cool to stick a nook or something on the ceiling and just have it transmit to a monitor for the ultimate wireless setup. They've even got battery powered monitors. You could like trip people out pretty good. Like there's no computer. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, by the way, make sure you check out our, our wireless gaming mice actually faster video because the results might surprise you. <laughs>